um, street art is one of the most important cultural and artistic heritage of the city of Bologna. For the first time, we have uh, chosen to bring the blue paintings in the museum, the Museum of Bologna, not for the market, not for the money, mm -hmm. not uh, for the world of the collectors, but uh, for an institution. Now we know that it's possible to rip off the skin of, a, of the wall, or also if it's concrete, and to paste it on a canvas. It's really uh, a revolution. We have totally changed the way in which we think about the restoration of, of street art also. We have the results uh, now shown here in the, in the exhibition. Two years ago, we detached many blues paintings from the wall in uh, two uh, invisible factories. The summer 2014, I wrote an email to Blue. I didn't receive an answer. Mm -hmm. We mm, decided to operate in that moment because uh, until the end of the month, the wall will be destroyed. I wrote a new mail to Blue to advise about the new situation about the project of the show. And Blue responded to me, Dear Luca, okay, I'm curious. I, I want to see, we can have a meeting in Bologna. We have taken the appointment. In this bar, there were Luca, Camillo, and the other restorers, but no Blue. Are these pieces going to be sold? Are they going to go to the art market, to the art auction? Are they going to finish on the market? No! no. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. Why? Why? Because uh, we have saved blue from, from the demolition, the destruction, mm -hmm. not for the market, not for the money, not for the collectors, but for the people, for the museum. Uh, there is a, an ancient uh, technique allow you to, to preserve the surface of the painting. This, this is the work of the artist. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. But I didn't take out the work of the artist only. Mm -hmm. I've taken out all of the surface. Yeah, uh, I have taken out Paolo Cello in a church from uh, Bologna that is a few meters from here. And this is very easy in front of what we are done here. And of course it was a, a lot of work, you know, mm -hmm. but because when I say it was detached in, in, in December, means that we began to work in October. So we didn't have the, until now, the finance mm -hmm. to, to make it, because it cost almost like the, the detachment. The time you have invested in the project? One year and a half, almost. One year and a half. How many people worked uh, with you in the pro on the project? On the from three to five. The expense, the, the entire expense, is more than hundred thousand uh, euros. euros. And did you get paid for your work, the work that you invested in the project? This is a problem. Not for now. Not for now. <laughs> Not until now. I gave uh, a chance to wealthy people to speak and to have the community of, of this kind of work. With the same people that you discussed art of the 13th century, you discussed blue and street art. This is, it seems impossible, mm -hmm. but now are the same people. They appreciate the novelty. Mm -hmm. And this is the same novelty they now appreciate in the street art, that until a few weeks ago, a few months ago, they Treat, treat it as a bad thing, as a vandalism. And now, all of the people of Bologna are interested in the field of the street art. Thanks to me, to Luca Ciancavilla, thanks to, to the exhibition. When we gave out the news, mm -hmm. uh, they said that we were taking out uh, blue paintings from a public place. But we put the paintings in uh, private places. So people would have to pay to see, see them, them and 
This is the opposite of what we are doing. We have put things private to public. The, the paintings that, that we are speaking about, the, the blue paintings, are in, in an area that is free.